Okay, the, as far as the lady who uh, right, got man. punched out at the restaurant Hell and yeah. the son killed the man, and, and now the lady is suing the police department, and they got a GoFundMe. They didn't already raised like $14,000 for her to relocate. That's like, what good. do y'all think about this whole situation? Because there's like people on one side saying, you put your son in a horrible situation. Then there's other people saying, that's what the nigga get, you know. And, and trust me, trust me, I feel like that dude who was punching on her, pussy ass nigga. And I know his family out there. I know his family out there. Like, man, fuck that shit. Ain't none of them gonna get charged with shit. Ain't we ain't gonna get no justice from this. But your damn relative was up there punching a woman in her head in a restaurant. Yeah. In front of everybody. I mean, what I think about that is, is that. I mean, the people who say the son, how did she put the son in danger? No, it was the man who responded the way that he did. Basically. And causing her to have to act on her okay. son he called him on to the defend. Um, you know, me personally, it's like, I, you know, people kill me with that shit. Oh, he was a father. He was loved. She well, bitch, he didn't give up enough a fuck to not put his hands and, like, pombo a woman's face that's a mother and somebody's wife or girlfriend or baby mom or none of that. So why she do, was why it on. Like, his old lady, yeah. Like, why do you get to... Why do you get to have, extend that sympathy to him? I don't believe in that. You should have extended it. He should have had enough sense to think about that. Oh, shit. This is somebody's mother. This is somebody's daughter. This is somebody's niece. So since he didn't, I'm just not sympathetic. I think he got exactly what he deserved, considering that black men be killing black women every five and a half hours. I'm glad that she wasn't part of that statistic and he was able to meet his demonic ass maker. I mean, that's I, I don't I don't feel I don't feel no way about that because it's just like. It, part of me kind of feels as if, okay, bro, but you really had started to violence if that was another dude. That's the thing. That's what I call pussy. Like, would you really been so quick to yeah. throw your hands like that we gonna, if that was another dude? We gonna, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So for me personally, as a man that was raised by a single father and have a certain standard that, you know, you just didn't, you don't Humble a woman physically. You could defend yourself verbally, oh. but you don't. Pump, yeah, I'm not gonna. You got to, but don't. Yeah, defend her. yourself. Yeah, ain't nothing a woman can right. say to me. Ain't nothing that a woman or a man, for that matter, you know, could say to me where I just gotta go upside his head. I just, I know. So right. I think it's. I'm, I'm glad that her young man, because he's 14, he's not a child. He might be a minor, but this is not a baby. He's a young yeah, adult. His nuts, his nuts is in the process of dropping, and I'm glad that he had enough gumption at that age, at that that coming into maturity, to know that, yeah, it's either oh, I protect oh. my mother, I'm a protect. I rather oh. live, I rather live knowing that he didn't, and she is. I rather go. I I bet you he'd rather be glad that he killed him than oh. standing there saying, I'm oh, sorry, unalive him. Excuse me, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I bet you he sleeps at night feeling better that he unalive the dude I'm that was brutally me. hitting his mother. Well, you know what? I absolutely agree with my sons. They, my sons, shit. They, it could be less situation than that. And okay. He got my back. You know, all the time. Okay. Like I got theirs. I just said that they were still extremely lucky because mm-hmm. of the simple fact that we know how how it could go. When you chasing down a person and shooting them from the back, right? And that's where I said, you know, when he when they was shooting them in the store or in the restaurant or whatever. But then once they got out the once the man started running off, and you know how that can get. Oh well, they're no longer a threat, and you killed them and hit shot them from the back, and they were no longer a threat. I was just saying they are extremely lucky because. I don't know if it's the state that they were in, the county that they were in, but I guarantee you, if that would have been here in Nebraska, bro, I don't know what you might think, bro. You, we from the same hood. I think it wouldn't have went like that. 
Which one? Oh, I really don't think it would have been like that. If they were in Nebraska and, uh, yeah, it's, it's and, and really your mother really was being beat on or hit on, and, and, and you not only shot them there, but then when they try to run away and run off, you chase them out the door, chase them outside the building and still shoot them. Man, I don't I think it would have. Technically, because you, you got to understand, too, if you, and I was a young man, so imagine someone that sees it. Yeah. Trying that iron. They they more say wouldn't even had to chase him. It would have basically it would have been right there. Been there and done. They right there and there, there in, 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 in the yeah. store. It would have been done right then and there and instead handled as with a fisticuffs or a gunpowder spread on, on both of our teams. I'm gonna mute you, Isaac, real quick until you're ready to talk. Um, just because well, of the I mean, no, he, you know, he could, you know, I, yeah, I he could, yeah. his opinion about it. As well as actual hours. Yeah, when, when he ready to talk, he can unmute himself. But that's that at the end of the day, so that that wrong. I mean, I, I hate to see that our people lose our life in the early demise. Like, why you want to transition to be on the other side of the glass looking in? You I do too, about? and I feel like this motherfucker that why would you, was why would you take your life off? Like, how many times have we heard and we still hear, and or we see the posts on social media? Free Day Day, free Bobo, free my Uncle Rayway, free my. But them, the same motherfuckers that's out there doing dirt, being grimy, doing shit that deserves for them to be locked up for years. But it's always on somebody on social media saying, free them, they don't deserve it. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, this free the homie Cole Jack. They're talking about, oh, he was a great father. Oh, he was this. Oh, he was that. Now, on one hand, people, like I said, feel some type of way because they like in certain it, it's it's just law in certain places where if the threat is removed from the scene, you can't keep going after them. Free big Cole yeah. Jack and little Pedro. And then there are some areas, some counties, some cities, some states where, like. What happened to them? They obviously got to kill the dude, and, and and they got off. They they were charged, they were arrested, they were jailed. But in the end, the well, they got no, they no, it, it because honestly, and it wasn't so much of being a biased situation, or because uh, the great city of Chicago needs a good positive hand on saying that all oh, we're well, we're that type of uh, we, we're as long as you follow the law. We, you know, we're not, we, you know, nah, bro. Y'all need the reason why the gun violence is the way it is in the shop is because of them doggone lackluster ass doggone gun and she. And they do have a lot of gun violence in that city. And, and it's the, one of the most restrictive places. One of the most restrictive. She come on down. Y'all already know when you hit that dog on me, Gabriel, Texas line, Jack with the Red River. Y'all know what it is, man. But because it's of all the time there, because she. of the crime written city and gun violence, that could have been the one reason why they said, okay, y'all did chase them out the door. You did keep shooting them while they were no longer a threat. But because of the high gun violence and the race. Exactly. They no, because of the high them. crime yeah, shit. motherfucker had it coming. You know they what illegal. They, they basically did. They look at it as being illegal gun violence. They don't look at it as yeah. being legal because gun Because the dude might not have been old enough to have his own gun. The mother had a CCW. You know, she had a permit and everything to have that gun. But Little man had, had already peeped this since. When it comes down to it, they were looking at him protecting his mother. And but, you, but you know what this reminds me of? Remember there was a case maybe a few years ago, and I don't know if it was in the state of Chicago, uh -huh. but remember it was at like a gas station, and it was involving a white guy and a black guy, and they were down there in Florida. Yeah, and remember even though the dude wasn't, I don't know if he was a attacking him or he it was something warrant to where the dude was the dude was able to get away with shooting and killing the dude because it was under like a certain circumstance of um hey, your girl. he was still yeah he went and got the gun and came back and shot the dude at the pump and he got off because I think he I think had, I remember. Uh, dude, yeah I'm trying to remember the case it was, a, it was a it was a fifth altercation but then the white guy went and got the gun and was able to shoot the dude. 
and he never he didn't get arrested or nothing like that because it so, was kind of yeah. like stand your ground or something like that. Yes, and I'm one. I think it's different cases require different different places, different cases. You know, it's, it, Nebraska, Nebraska is a retreat. Yeah, we would know nah, my my home state is our a, state. I'm telling you, Isaac, it's like that shit. Would, we, we would be locked up. Yeah, my birth, mm. my birth state. I don't, I don't dig that, man. I, I can't respect that. I'm I, I mean, I hate that. that our city is like that, but no, it's, it's the whole state. They got to do with this the city. But yeah, 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 the that. state, the state. I hate that it's like that, 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 but I'm telling you, that same scenario would have happened here. Just okay, oh. remember bro? Okay, remember we covered the story a couple of years ago. Remember it was a little boy, not a little boy, but it was a teenage boy and his friends who were stealing cars over in like Bellevue or Pavilion or somewhere. Oh and one God. of the neighbors, one of the house owners came out and caught the boy in his right. car and he came outside with a knife. The boy had the boy that reversed the car had started driving off in the dude in the homeowner's car but the homeowner managed to get in the car and start stabbing him and they driving uh, he driving down the street all reckless all over the road like the man came out the house jumped in the car all the way down the street stabbing the boy yeah, he's ready to get he's ready to kill he ended up killing the boy now see he ended up going to jail being charged the homeowner and everything for that for sure and, and that's why I said in some places it's like the threat was neutralized. The actually the threat was neutralized. You should have just let the him threat go. Was neutralized. There was no threat. Period. Like it's the man in the car stealing your shit, and some people will say, "Well, that's my car. I have a right to shoot." Every state ain't like that. But even down here, I I mean, yeah, we can protect our property, but honestly. If somebody really, really like you're that, you have that type of technology, which you a lot of people do, got that type of technology, you specifically wanted my vehicle, then it must be met and divine right. person for me to get something better, just the same model, but exactly. just exactly. I better have something. I, I must about to get something that's 2024. But Call see, the our law up here. Call the the <laughs> But our law up here for property, some people consider yeah, property man, I'm just the home. You. Our yeah. law up here is just like in your home. That, that property. Not your here. motorcycle outside. Yeah. Not your car outside. Yeah. Not your ours is literally in our state. It's like you can protect your home Absolutely. inside your home. So every state is different. You know, but uh, hey, I ain't mad at the. I ain't mad at the. Hey, stuff. you know what? You can even protect your neighbor shit down here. If you kill somebody in Texas, you sure can. Yeah, you can. You kill somebody over yeah, there messing your, your yeah. good neighbor. They yeah. over there messing. You know that man over there working hard. You know that woman over there. You know she over there side sneaking. Y'all know she over there turning the few chips. Yeah, Texas, you can put on she, blow ass all even though she's been with that man for 25 years y'all know she she over here to you know turning tricks with old mr Willie sugar daddy so i ain't gonna say nothing but you know them people yeah they no nah, hell no nah. she yeah they had they had to put it down you know what i'm talking about you know what i mean she yeah you know yeah. like i said they i, I still say they lucky but as far as the dude who was beating on the woman, beating her all in her head. No, he was filed for that. Yeah, that that's filed. That's the end of the day. That's, 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 no, that, that's filed. That's, 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 that's just what, in this situation, that's what you got. And if your family yeah. is upset, if your kids is upset, if your wife is upset, like y'all should be looking at this motherfucker like, what the fuck is to be beating some woman in her head? Like y'all was arguing, y'all was having a argument. The lady was no threat to you. No disrespect. Was hit that woman like that so quick. That mean he beat Yeah, him. did you see his dress and everything? His dress wrapped all around his ass when he raced back to hit her and shit. Like yeah. what is full body weight? He put yeah, strength he into that. He Look, put like he, he hit something. that woman like he had no regard for her life. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. And, and that and that's how you know y'all know I'm a heathen, but I wonder if his grandma believe in the Bible. She should have read, honey, son, the wages of sin is death. Well, guess what? He got a customized cast this. Any, it, 
a man that's vulnerable woman shall surely die. So if you, you, go, like around here, you go around here hitting women, I you mean. Don't like the but one damn thing about me and my will, no, nah, you ain't put me in no hole. You ain't burning me up. You going to come and knock on my door. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't talking about no mausoleum. No, you can come on my own property and be like, oh, there you go. Where he at? He back there. Oh, I thought that dude was like two years ago. You know, he back there laid up chilling. You're not going to disrespect mm -hmm. me like that. That That's how I honor life. Because it was yeah. given to me. The, high, the highest form of uh, whatever from the creator. Hell with that. I ain't yep. going out like that. Girl, we fucked up. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. You, yeah, you, he you, messed up big time. And, and, and it's certain things like that that you just got to say, well, if you wouldn't have done this and that. Yeah. You know so, I mean, what makes you think? And I just know, like, if it, if it would have been a man he was having a physical altercation with, he wouldn't have been so quick to do that. But how do y'all he... feel about the people who just... Okay, I saw an article, all right? I saw an article from the family member of the uh, the woman and the boy. And they said if bystanders had helped her, then maybe her son would not have had to intervene. And when you look at the video, you literally see people recording and people watching. And then when the man started beating on the lady, people started running off. Yeah. Now, there are certain situations where I believe that somebody should probably interfere. Right. Somebody should be like, hey, bro, what the fuck is you doing? Like, come on now. But then there are certain situations where you don't know if the dude might have a gun. You don't know if he might have a knife. You know, you know so I can't place blame on bystanders. Right. We can't place blame on bystanders all the time because there's plenty of times when bystanders get killed trying to stand up with mm -hmm. somebody else, right? Right. You know, so I don't know. I don't know about that, but the family did say that. But it is, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, be negative, stereotype in Chicago, but it is like, I mean, it just shows the temperature that they're used to seeing stuff like that. Exactly. Happen. It is Chicago. It, exactly. It, it's, it, it, it's like everyone's used to, you know, seeing, you know, other and people. And they brag about it, bro. They brag about it. They brag about how hard everybody there in the violence and the games. They brag about, oh, don't fuck with Chicago. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I do be catching that. Yeah, so I, when I saw that, I mean, I don't know how true it is. You know, they were saying that he had the attacker um, had a lady friend with him, and they, they were saying she was egging him on. I heard that. Yep, they did say that. Witnesses said that there was a lady who was laughing and egging it on, but I, that's just what witnesses said. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't but, know. I'm just. I'm. I'm. I'm glad. I, I, I think she should. The, I think she should go mostly after the restaurant. Yeah. More so than the police department because it is kind of like what's. But I get it. It's like you arrested me with a three million dollar bail. Uh, for but see, they didn't remember they didn't have no footage. They didn't have a lot of footage at first to that lady. What's her name? Kalia. Kalia, um, she's content creator. Hello. Uh -oh. Her name was like Kalia or Shalia or something like that. She was the one who recorded the footage because you know the lady Car Carlisa. She had posted on Facebook. She said, thank you. This is Rahima, that's her name. Uh -huh. Carlisha Hood posted on Facebook yesterday. No, on the 28th. She said, you don't understand how blessed we are that you posted that video, Rahima Lewis. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, tag her. God is so good. So Rahima Lewis is the one who recorded it. And she did an interview too. Oh. 
somebody interviewed her and they said, what was you thinking? You know, what did you see? You know, all that kind of stuff. And she said, me and my homegirl just was hungry. And we were like, man, where can we stop to eat? She was like, well, let's just stop here. She said, when they got in the restaurant, the shit was already going on, the argument. And she said, normally I wouldn't even hit record, but she said, something just told me to hit record. Mm. And so she recorded the whole thing. Up until, of course, the sun started shooting and everybody took off. Right. But yeah. And then they, yeah, somebody interviewed her on some YouTube channel the other day or whatnot. But yeah, so, but they raising a GoFundMe. They, they, they got $14,000 so far. That's a lot. And they just literally started the GoFundMe. But they're trying to get, they were trying to get $5,000 and they're almost at $15,000. And this is for relocation expenses. Makes sense. And I could understand that. I mean, it's Chicago. Yep. You murder somebody, even though you felt you were in your rights, it's Chicago. You never know if somebody wants to come back and get you. You are, and it's a 14 year old son. Right. So I, I can certainly understand why they would want to raise money to relocate. Me too. But yeah, they they was only trying to get five thousand. It's already at fourteen thousand six hundred. So people are supporting them so that they can yeah. relocate. She better get her ass up out of there. And that's not trying yeah. to be funny. I understand. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's I even me. That's just it. Just even me and the where I'm from, where I'm coming from. If, yeah. that, if I'm in their shoes, and it doesn't have to be Chicago, hell, it could be down here in where I'm at in the yeah. 979. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Or back at home in the 402. If I'm in this same scenario, I'm not. Just like one of my late great uncles talked to me, he said, look, man, if you're going to do something in the town or if you're involved with something, if it happens, don't never go back. That's how you don't get caught up. That's how they used to do it back in the old days. Yeah, so they were out of town all the time. Whether they were bank robbers, whether they yep. was other shit they went out there. If you do it, don't never go back there. You ain't and never they still show ass out of town if you got pregnant out of wetlock. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got hung and drugs through the streets if it was like that in one of these little small towns. But I'm saying is that, you, you know, if you, if, if, if you know that's what is about to uh, perspire then why do you want to keep your i don't know we have an infatuation with just being caught up in yeah. the midst of what it, what it is that we really want to prove or try to prove but it's been walking around like yeah i did that shit. yeah you know what i like, mean yeah, like, nigga, like is that it yeah we are actually trying to live out we are letting life imitate art instead of the original way of art imitating life mm-hmm well, I hope Don't they get really. relocated. Um, a lot of people That's are saying on the GoFundMe that they hope they get, you know, find somewhere else to live. And you know. hope. she should not say nothing. It should be disclosed. She should. I, the only thing that she should let the public know and say, y'all know what? I'm being honest with y'all. You know what? It's just, if, if 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 everybody want to know where it is, where it is, and what how it is, I'm not going to. No, it. these are the supporters. They're saying on the GoFundMe. I'm saying is that I will have an attorney. I will have someone that I can be like, look, man, I, I can only get because I need to, you know what? He's going to be like, you know what? I got you. It's from me. It's boom, boom, boom. Look, he's going to be the spokesperson. Look, my client is safe. They have found no, a I'm not saying space. they said anything. I'm saying the supporters are saying stuff like, Prayers to you. I hope you're able to relocate. Yeah, you know, that's the real shit. Like, they should just do it. They, they don't even have to cash out. Just find a place. So if you need to extract something from that, if you know what you're doing, nobody has to know what you're doing. If it was me and I'm getting that kind of bread and I'm in the city like that, there are some motherfuckers that is very quiet and discreet and be like, you know what? If you need to get up out of there, we'll come up in there and pack everything that you got. Discreetly, we ain't looking through nothing. We all we doing is boxing, ceiling. They boxing, ceiling, and ain't saying nothing. Anybody come on, hey man, what's going on? Ain't think. nobody even it's saying that the team shit. they just in and out within an hour. I mean, half an hour to an hour, they're they're done and gone. Um, and your shit is going to a pod somewhere, and you going on about your business. 
Yeah, it's easy to move you out, but you need money to relocate. Yes. With 14 right now, if you can't make a move with 14 no, million. No, they ain't going to let that shit max out. Bro, come on now. They could have moved with five or ten. If that, that hell, I can move with a couple. Who did you say? I'm they going to let that shit get up as high as it can go. Shit, man, I, man, I can move five move. Three. Me personally, I've been a cash it's that shit out. It's real nice, but five, but five plus? Oh, dude, I, I'm on my piece of land. Yeah, and they asked for five. It's at 14613. Yeah, I, I, I can put me a tent, and I got me some acres. I got me a few acres. I can, shit, I can put me yeah. a nice little tent on my shit until I'm ready to get, because it's mine. Said ten thousand dollars, you can you can find a, a apartment first month. There ain't no damn apartment, no. Ten grand, no, 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 you I'm doing the house. I mean, okay, uh, not not maybe New York or Cali or some right expensive places like that. But if she comes to the south, yeah, when it comes like to I the said, south, family, like that, yeah, you drop somebody ten thousand dollars down here in Texas. Shit, would you tell? Would you tell her, bro? You drop ten grand out here. You say you want some privacy or something. I got a little couple, two or three. I got a two bed, two bed, or a three, you know, three bed, one bed, one half. Yeah, I got about you know four, five acres. You know, you can buy it if you want it. I mean, this is what I want for, but shit, you got ten thousand. That, that's about. Yeah, they ain't thinking about buying no acres. They just trying to, they just trying to get somewhere low key. That's all they trying to do. You out in the country. Trying to do it. Yeah, they. You out in the country. That shit for ten grand. It's just because everything. I mean, because Deanna be close. You know, Deanna in Mississippi. She always be posting right. when they be having uh, property land sales and all that kind of the stuff. They real cheap. They that real shit be cheap, cheap as fuck too. Over in Mississippi, but that's the key. Yep. It's the set. Yep. You, you, you can get a lot of property for cheap in the set. You willing? To, you willing to go deal with the Sips politics? No, not really. But I'll, I'll, I'll visit. <laughs> I'll visit. Yeah, well, shit, that's the sip. Yep, yep. 